Hello, this is Melinda Lee from HPC, the Homesteading and Preparedness Collective. I have had many people ask me, how do I start my kombucha brew? So I'm going to show you the beginning stages and what I use. I use a half gallon Balls mason jar. I use cane organic sugar and about half a cup. I use about a cup to two cups of boiling water and I just put that through my tea maker. And I use four to six Newman's own organic black tea bags. So we're going to put the sugar in first. That's the way I do it because that way I can stir up the sugar and get it nice and dissolved. So you want to make sure you use a plastic spatula. Uh, you don't want to use any metal. And your brews. So you see how I'm stirring that up and getting it nice and dissolved. And then, now I used a little more than it's usually two and a half inches. That's about right. And then you're going to add your tea bags. And also you want to make sure you use filtered water. Now I have a big Berkey. You can use distilled water, um, but I have a big Berkey, so I use my Berkey water that's been filtered. And now you're going to let this set and brew for a little while. And once this cools, you're going to allow this to cool. Take out your tea bags, and then you're going to add a um, water, your filtered water again, about up to here, because you're going to add one cup of starter, kombucha starter. Now I'm not doing that because I'm doing a continuous brew. So I have uh, my SCOBY and my starter basically their starter it's, it's a continuous brew so I I just fill this up with filtered water now uh, my big Berkey is over here so my big Berkey this is what I use this is my filtered water and uh, we'll go back over here so I'm going to let this set for uh, 20 or 30 minutes to let it cool, and then I'll use the filtered water. I'll put the fill this up with filtered water because I'm using a continuous brew. But if you're not using continuous brew, then you're going to use a starter. Now this has uh, the SCOBY in it and starter liquid. So, um, depends on how you want to, to do this. If you want to do a continuous brew, which I think is easier, um, for me it is, because um, I, I drink a lot. So, and then what I do is once you do your first, this is the, what you consider your first brew, for your second brew is where you flavor it. So I just take it out of the tap about, well, if I'm going to do a second brew in this or if I do it in the bottles, if I do it in the bottles, I just pull this over, fill the bottle up, and I put uh, my spices in or I might put my spices for my second brew in this. And I, I, maybe I'll do a, a second brew video so you can kind of get an idea what the second brew is like. Um, very easy, very easy. It's not hard, uh, and 
if you if you don't like the taste, if you think it's too sour or too sweet, you can adjust it. Um, the best book that I think for troubleshooting is the big book of kombucha. It will show pictures if you're concerned about the way your SCOBY looks, if you're concerned about mold, if you, if you want to adjust the flavor, if you think it's too tart or too vinegary. It, it has recipes. It's the best book. And I suggest if, you, if you're serious about this, to get the book. And there's all kinds of recipes and um, guidelines and the history behind it. It's, it's a very good book. Uh, I order some of my flavorings from uh, Kombucha Camp. Uh, I also use um, organic ginger root, and I just get that at the local store. Uh, some of the other flavorings I've tried, I've done the coffee, uh, coffee kombucha, and that's really good. So I'm experimenting. I've only been at this about five months, and I'm learning, and it's it's really not that hard once you get started. Um, and you'll be giving away SCOBIES because they will uh, start taking over. <laughs> so you can see how nice that SCOBY looks. That's a nice SCOBY. Um, I put it in this because I'm getting ready to give that one away. And I have SCOBIES in here. And then I also have uh, a, what we call a, a SCOBY home. or um, it, It's for excess SCOBIES. Once they start growing in here, then I take the extras out and I put them in an, another container and that's the one that I, I will take out and, and give SCOBIES to friends and whoever I can uh, con them off on. So if you have any questions, uh, just email or um, you know make a post on Facebook and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And also, like I said, if, if you're serious, go get the Big Book of Kombucha, and you can get that at the library if you just want to check the book out before you purchase it. It's not that expensive. I think it was $25 or $30. I can't remember now, but it's, it's not that terribly expensive, but it's well worth the money um, to have that resource. Well, happy kombucha making and happy homesteading and I will post some uh, flavoring brews. I'll uh, show you how to maybe flavor a few uh, different types of recipes and the ones that I seem to like and that have been successful for me. So happy homesteading.